Hey everyone, great to see you here. Today I will be setting up a new tank for my collection. This time I'm going for something suitable for nanofish. Heavily planted tank with wood-based hardscape. I hope you'll enjoy it, so let's get started. This is the tank I will be using for this build. And as you can see, this one is brand new. There is absolutely no reason to show you this unpacking, but it's just so cool and satisfying to unpack brand new tank. Oh yes, that's the stuff. It's 45 by 30 by 30 centimeters and holds roughly 40 liters of water. I'm starting this build from applying black background. It makes the entire build look much more clean. As a light, I'm using this generic LED light for now, but later I will probably swap it to something much more powerful. And this is how it looks like for now, so let's move on and start the actual build. Because this tank will be heavily planted, I will cover the entire bottom with active substrate. But before I do that, I want to include one more thing. This time I will be using this kind of bottom caps for some extra nutrients for my plants. To have much better spread of the fertilizer, I'm opening those caps just like that. And now I'm pouring out the contents all over the bottom. You see? This way all the nutrients are spread consistently across the entire tank. And now I can cover it all with my substrate. I'm using quite a lot and as always I'm making it a little bit thicker on the back. Time to put some actual hardscape. I have few very nice driftwood pieces that I would like to use. They are good size and have a lot of detail on them. Those two pieces will be the center point of the build. Now I'm just adding smaller pieces to make it look much more complete. I'm arranging them in a way that they are all pointing out in more or less the same direction. This makes them look much more consistent, but also natural at the same time. I think that it looks really nice. And I have plenty of space for the plants in the back and for the carpet in the front. To secure all the pieces together, I'm using cotton pads and cyanoacrylate glue. And we are done! All stable, secured and ready for planting. And we will start planting from something really special. Some of you might remember this. This is Monte Carlo that I grew myself and did it basically for free. I will link the video in the description on how I did that. If you're interested, check it out, but after you're done with this one. Anyway, I have a lot of it, so I'm able to spread it quite well across the substrate. I think that's enough. There are obviously some empty spots, but it should grow over them in no time. And now for the rest of the plants. They are basically a different types of stem plants. Some color in the front and some higher green plants in the back. I'm using few different types to make the tank look interesting. Because there is a lot of planting to do, I'm spraying the plants with water from time to time so they don't dry out. To finish off the planting, I am placing few small Anubias plants here and there. They always bring the builds together. And we are done! It looks good already, even though the plants are really small. So I'm expecting it to only get better in time. Filled with water, it looks a little bit murky, but this was expected. It will clear out in no time. I like this look, I really do. It's very colorful, still quite clean and full of small details. Let's wait and see how it develops. And four weeks later, here we are. All the plants are growing like crazy and look very healthy. 
carpet is adjusting to the water very well and starting to fill the entire front of the tank. There are no major algae issues besides occasional hair algae. And the fish, they are just doing great. I went with the classics, small group of black neons and autosynclus. This tank is not yet in its final form, because it's just too early, but it's starting to fill in very nicely. I would like to have the center of the tank to be much more filled with plants, but this will happen in time. For now I am very happy with how it looks. It fits with my other builds just perfectly. And now it's time to start trimming the stem plants organizing them in the way I want and just go for the final look. But this is the topic for another video. Let me know if you like this one and see you in the next one.